the website's working significantly better today than it was yesterday. Let's check out... Well, that puts us in a very weird spot. We'll go ahead and start with Tynamo and hope we don't get donked. Alrighty, so. This guy's got significantly more cards than me and fortunately we will have to Juniper. I'm going to put the electric back into my deck. We're going to get a Thunderous. I think that's our best starter at this point in time. All four of my eels are in my deck, which is terrific. And we'll just go ahead and grab Thunderous. Attach an energy to the Thunderous. And retreat. I don't really want to lay down a Zekrom because it's going to get Ketchered, but at the same time, I really don't want. Don't really want two in my discard pile, but. Uh, I think we're just going to do it and see what happens. So, he's got 120 hit points. Also going to junk arm, junk arm Juniper, the lost remover, but it's the way it goes sometimes. So we'll put down my free retreater. We've got electric ready to go turn two, and a sage might be able to get some more fire energy into the discard. And uh, all I can do here is charge. So we still have six energy in the deck, five in the deck, two in my hand, two on the board, uh, so that means one energy is prized. So we're going to see him, so what I assume I'm playing here is a spread deck. I think we're going to see Kiram, and that's what he did, of course. So. Mm. Another Juniper. Well, let's take a look here. Voltorb only has 40 HP, which would have been perfect. I could have Thunderist it and, uh, oof. Maybe we can get a switch here. So let's go ahead and Sage, see what we got. nothing in here that I want. Nothing I want to discard either. I think we're going to grab the Poke Gear and the Lost Remover. We'll keep putting... Oof. Would have loved a double colorless. At least I could have retreated. Alrighty. We're going to grab Poke Gear, Lost Remover. Say so long to the rest of you. which would be great. So, I'm gonna do something a little strange. I'm actually gonna attach it to the electric because I think he's gonna wanna catch this thing. I will do a manual attachment to my Zekron. And let's check out what old, old Torb's got going on here. So, I'm not sure if we should catch it. Probably gonna want to evolve it and explode right away, so it's gonna be knocked out anyway. Um, so I think we're gonna conserve here, and I will just end my turn and see how he does on his second turn. Thing is, it's pretty early. He could be. He's gonna look at seven cards. He's going to try and fire this thing up right away. We might... Gosh, a switch would be great. Yep, there's Kiram. 
So I've never played this deck before, or at least not a good version of it, so we'll see how it actually works. Which stinks that I only have... I did not get the second Tynema out in time. Alrighty. So... How many do we have in the discard? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have time to set up a second Tynema. do have time to do. Let's try and get an N. I want to switch in a plus power because I want that Kyurem gone. Let's take a look. So, Collector. At this point, I don't really want a Juniper. That loss remover because we're gonna see probably a double colorless and probably some special metal so it is going to come in handy and I think what we're gonna do here is just go ahead and take out the Voltorb that's gonna set him back on energy drops so we'll grab a Tornadus and a Tynamo already got a Zekrom out. And then we'll grab all three. Well, I can't lay all three. So we will lay down a Tynamo. Because <clears throat> we really need a second one up. So we'll lay down the Tynamo. I think we're going to wait on the Tornadus just to see what he does at the same time I yeah I don't have energy any energy in the discard so I'm not wasting anything there and we'll go ahead and send him back on his uh, explosion here which so I'm gonna do 40 60 damage which is perfect let's see Energy Priss does 20, 60, not going to be enough. And this is definitely the right move here. That's what I want to see. So. I'm paralyzed. I have 120 damage on me. I am going to Lost Remove. And right now I can Outrage, but I cannot attack. I'm gonna have to. It's a tough decision. I think we're going to retreat, try and get a second electric, because I want that Kyurem gone. That's going to be a bigger pain, I think, than this card. So... And I think I should not have attached that. But we're going to retreat into a Molga, and then we're going to Juniper. And... I don't see any reason not to lay the Tornadus. We've already got one Zekrom. But I don't want to waste a bench space either. I've already got two attackers out. They're both ready to go. Not sure what the play is there, but we're learning. So we got the electric, and this will set him back. So we're going to attach an energy onto Zekrom. I think we're going to attach an energy onto 
Tornadus. And the game is not going to let me retreat. Which, I've had this happen before. Thankfully, we got a switch. Oops, sorry about that. Get this back to where it needs to be. Waste a switch, which I hate doing. 120, 140, that is going to set him back. So, just go ahead and outrage for the knockout. <laughs> So, we're going to get knocked out here. So, I'm just going to keep setting him back on his energy attachments. Don't really need a sage. Don't think I'm gonna need a plus power. Uh, we could Zekrom here. Let's see how much energy we have. Yeah, we. Yeah, we would need. Could win the game, and I think that's what we're gonna try to do. So I'm gonna try and get. Actually, not really that smart. I already laid the double colorless, so it's not going to help me. So here I'm wasting a sages, which is not the right move. But all of our attackers are going to be ready to go, so I'm going to dynometer onto myself. That way I can retreat when I need to. And I think we're just going to power up Thunderous, possibly Tornadus, or possibly have Zekrom ready to go again for the next. So, put a Zekrom on the bench. So we're down to one energy, one in my hand. Move that down there, and I like where we're at here. So I'm not going to remove his rainbow. Don't think it makes sense. Could get rid of my plus power. Eh, we're just going to conserve. So Hurricane for 80. He's down to 30 hit points. I like where all my energy is. Thunderous is ready to go, Zekrom's ready to go, Tornadus is ready to go. And uh, he's going to catch up something and take it out, I think. So let's see what he catches. Possibly a Molga. No, he junk armed his. Uh, he junk armed away his catcher, so. I'm liking that. Perfect hand for him. Although I've got the plus power. Actually, I've got I've got what I want here. Cuz so I can take out this Cobra Lion and I can get rid of the special energy on the other one. He's going to try to get his Voltorb and play again. So I've got a lot of options. He has a lot of options. He did his 80, so I cannot attack. And question is, do we Zekrom right away or not? What do we got over here? Two special energies we can get rid of. This thing's effectively at 130, which I can handle. 
This thing is down to five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty hit points. Not a big deal. I think we want to take out that one with a plus power. So let's just go ahead and charge up Zekron. Preserve that double colorless. So I will just retreat into Zekrom. Actually, I don't have a catcher, and I'm not going to waste another Sages. I think we're just going to see what he does here. I'm happy with my board position. Oh, I can't attack. That's the problem. So I have to Zekrom. I really want to catch her. Yeah, let's see what Sage brings us. <clears throat> I don't think we need any more attackers. We can always junk arm for a revive. I've got Juniper and double colorless. We are running low on cards though. So that's what we're going to do. So eight cards left in my deck. We definitely have... Should have got rid of... Well, let's just take a look. So we obviously can't use Juniper. We're going to grab the catcher. prizes at this point in time. So I think I'm going to go ahead power up my Thunderous. has the least amount of damage on it. And we're just going to Bolt Strike. So we need three more prizes. And I only have an eight deck left. And he's going to stall. Let's see what he's going to grab. Actually, let's see what he's going to get rid of. Water and a junk arm. I don't like to junk arm junk arms. It's such a helpful card. So I think we're going to see him explode. Let's see if he's got a juniper. Ah, he's going to go back for the Kirim means I will need another plus power. Yep. So I'm comfortable. We got a lot of lightning in play. We got three, four in the discard. Down to seven cards. So his strategy here should definitely be To deck me out. That's what I would do if I was in his position. Um, I really wouldn't mind another Zekrom. Don't think... If I do 80 to him, he's gonna turn around and do 100 back to me. So it is a prize race. I really need a catcher. 
because I need to get three prizes. So, I think what we're going to do here power up the thunderous, junk arm, and in and a tornadus. This could be the wrong move, we'll see. But I need prizes. He needs to deck me out. I need three prizes in three turns. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'm just misplaying right now. I'm gonna take out his Kobolion. That's no problem. And I'm gonna hope to get the other two as my final two prizes. That is the plan. Two prizes, seven cards. And now his deck is finally starting to move. So he should get his Electorb. see another he pretty much needs to get glaciate moving here or he is going to have no shot so he's gonna again not a problem because I put two energy on it so I don't really care So my opponent decided he cannot win, and uh, again, we see Electric. Uh, it's not as fast as ZPTS, but uh, it did cause a lot of problems. I got ahead on my energy attachments. Uh, I had to burn a switch thanks to the game, game glitching out, but uh, I think we could have got the last two prizes uh, in the next six draws, and I think my opponent thinks that as well. Um, so that's Electric again, playing against another Noble Victories deck. And uh, hope you enjoyed it.